Remember that after you do the bench press, and you do the incline press and the dumbbell incline press and the flies with the dumbbells and all this stuff. Now you still have to do the dips for the lower back muscle. Then you have to do the exercise for the striation. So now you do cable crosses in front. So now you're already at 30 sets. And then you, you haven't even talked about, about the pullover to lie across the bench and to have a heavy dumbbell, like 100, 120 pound dumbbell and to do like 15 reps of that. Yes, you were tired. Yes, I had to come back for the second workout that night, but so what? I mean, it's still not as bad as working in a coal mine, 1,500 feet down below and get a dollar a day like they have done in South Africa when I went down to visit Rich Park. Yeah. That was terrible work. Working out in the gym five hours a day, I never felt sorry for myself. Let me tell you that it, was, it all paid off. When I was doing chest and I was doing five sets of bench press, then I did five sets of barbell incline press, then I did five sets dumbbell incline press, then I did five sets of flies, then I did five sets of pullovers with the dumbbell, then on the Nautilus machine, on the pullover machine, and then I did the cable crosses for the striations. I got my definition from overtraining. Everyone in a, in a bodybuilding world would say that to do 35 sets sets a body part like I did three times a week that that was definitely overtraining mm -hmm. and to me I never knew exactly how to do it without the 35 sets.